Hey guys, Kevin Ha here, and in this video today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to install Clone Engine UMBC3. What is Clone Engine UMBC3, you may ask? It is a mod created by Nice64, which allows the base roster and the Palace Walk characters to coexist within the same build. Uh, prior to that, it wasn't really possible. Um, all the modded characters would have to go over the normal base cast for it to even be playable. And with this mod, you'll be able to mix and match both characters on the same team, which is really, really cool for modded Marvel. The first part of this video is going to be teaching you how to completely replace the base game. So if that's not something you want, um, halfway through this video, there's going to be a second part that's going to teach you how to create the two separate um, base game and the clone engine build so then you can have them both separate. Keep in mind this is only going to be for the PC version of Ultimate Marvel's Capcom 3. If you're playing on console, PS5, PS4, Xbox One, this none of these mods will work so you do need a PC version of this game. Luckily it is on Steam, you can buy it for around $25 I think is the base price but it does go on sale very often for $8 or less so watch out for the Steam sales. First things first, you're going to want to go into the video description. I'll have the link for the Avengers Tournament build. That's the one we'll be using for this video and this tutorial. As you guys can see here, I already have an instance of Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 running. It is the base game uh, title screen, you know, completely normal. Going to character select, which is the base game. All the normal characters are all here nothing modded but um yeah once we install everything it's going to be completely different starting off we're going to be needing two things first thing is going to be the Avengers tournament build which I'll include a link for in the video description and the second thing is going to be an unzipping software it's going to be called 7-zip it's probably the easiest one to use for our purposes and I'll also include that in the video description once you click the link in the video description, you're going to be redirected to a Google Drive page. This is the Avengers turning build that I was talking about earlier. You're going to want to download this. It's going to be about 7 gigabytes to 8, give or take. Um, it might take a little, little while depending on how fast your connection is, but um, just be patient. Uh, second thing, as I said, is going to be 7-zip. Website will look at this. You just download the EXE, make sure you install it, and after that, you're ready for the next step. Once you have 7-zip installed and ready to go, and also the Avengers Tourney build downloaded, you'll want to right-click this folder right here, go to 7-zip, and click on Extract here. As you can see, it's extracting all the contents of the file. This will also take a little bit, so be patient. Right now, it says it's going to take about 30 seconds for me, so I'll see you guys once it's completely extracted. Once fully extracted, you should be getting a folder called Clone Engine UMBC3. Go ahead and open that. You'll get the list of all the files you'll need right here. So after you do open this file, go to your Steam. Look for Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. You're going to want to right click it, go to Properties, Installed Files, and then Browse. Where this is going to take you is the Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 directory. And uh, at this point, all you're going to want to do is click all of these, select them, and drag them over. And then let it fully copy and drag over to the, <laughs> the Ultimate Wars Capcom 3 directory. Cutting ahead a bit, you're going to get a replace or skip files prompt. Once this pops up, just press replace the files in the destination and you should be good to go. Should speed up really, really fast after this. As you can see, it says only about five seconds left. And uh, once this process is done, you should be good to go. Just wait a little bit longer. And boom! That should be uh, modded Clone Engine Marvel installed on your system. So right now, if you boot up Marvel 3, Got the long intro sequence. <laughs> you should get this screen right here Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom Clone Engine. So, you know, just enter the game as usual. And the difference with this version right here is um, 
obviously the UI is going to be Avengers because, you know, this is the build I use for when I run the tournaments palette swap and clone engine. Um, you can see the base roster here, but if you scroll below the bottom row, you'll be getting all of the modded characters. So yeah, very simple tutorial. That's all you need to do if you want to just completely replace your base game with Clone Engine. For the second part of this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a completely separate EXE so then you can have Clone Engine and Normal Marvel completely separate. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the same thing as we did before. Go to the Properties, Installed File, Browse, and then you'll be taken to the Marvel 3 directory once again. From this point, hit common, go to new, create a new folder, and you can name this whatever you want, For but for the purposes of this video, I'm going to name it clone engine umbc3. Now once you have that folder created, go back down to the ultimate Marvel's Capcom 3, copy all these files right here, go into here, and then paste them. This will also take a little while to complete, so just be patient, and then once it's done, you'll be ready for the next step. Once the files are all copied over to the Clone Engine UMBC3 folder that we created, go back into the downloads, as same as earlier where we downloaded the Clo Avengers Turning build. Open this file again, take all these, and just click and drag over to the Clone Engine UMBC3 file. As you can see, it's pretty much the same process as before. Just hit replace the files in the destination and then wait until it's done copying all the files over. Once it is, you're going to want to go back to Steam, click on add a game, and then add a non-Steam game. So it'll take you to this window right here. Click on browse. Um, you're going to want to find this directory right here. So wherever the uh, Clone Engine UMVC3 folder you created should look kind of something similar to this. Just click on UMVC3, then open, and then add selected program. Once you do that, you should be getting it somewhere here. Let me just find it real quick. UMVC3. So you can go into the properties and then rename it. I'm going to rename it Clone Engine. UMVC3, that should be good enough. And then once you do name it that, just find that uh, particular game once more. Right here, Clone Engine UMVC3. I like to add it to my favorites so it's a little bit easier to find. And then you're going to want to add desktop shortcut. Once you do, you should be getting a desktop shortcut right here, Clone Engine UMVC3. As you can see, two separate installs. So we open this one, it should be completely normal marble. Just gonna double check to see if I did this correctly. It's been a while since I've done this too because <laughs> I uh, just have them natively installed on my system already. But um, yeah, as you can see, normal marble. Go into training mode just to check. Just got base roster here, no modded character nonsense. Let's exit out. Open Clone Engine UMVC3. Yes, we get it. <laughs> Loading screen takes a bit. And then Clone Engine Marvel 3. Go into the offline mode, training. And yeah, the UI is completely different. All of the uh, modded characters are here. As you can see and um, that pretty much does it that concludes the end of this tutorial thank you so much guys for watching thanks for all the support uh, if you guys are interested in the tournaments you can join my discord server discord.gg slash avengers i do run um, all the tournaments usually on mondays at 6 p.m pst if i do have the time that is the scheduled time that i do run it and i also run lobbies here and there sporadically so if you want updates on that, you can join the Discord. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much again, guys, and I will see you guys later.